So we said it earlier, those waves can get up to 20 feet. Yeah. Yeah, Pretty intense. of course, in days like today, mm -hmm. if you are still planning on heading out to the coast for whatever reason, just make sure, of course, keeping your eyes on the yeah. kids and the pets, like you said, but also don't turn your back to the waves mm -hmm. either. Good Always tip. be very, very cautious of that. Let's take a look at that beach hazard statement. It already started at 5 a.m. this morning, extending through 11 p.m. tonight. Sneaker waves are potential, and then, of course, with that, too, coastal jetties, just stay away from them. Let's take a quick look at what we can expect for those daytime highs. It's going to be a chilly afternoon for us today along that coast. Coast with upper 50s in sight just ahead of a cold front pushing in tomorrow morning. It's going to be a cool start to November, but it's Halloween today. Let's take a look at that trick or treating forecast for any kiddos heading out there to get some much needed candy, not only for them, but for the parents too, because I know what happens once they go to bed. We are expecting upper 50s anywhere from the coast off into the bay, lower 60s just around that peak Halloween trick or treating hour, 5, 6, even 7 o'clock. Now, that cold front that I was talking about, it's all associated with this huge trough of low pressure pushing its way in from the Gulf of Alaska. This is going to bring in moisture for us. So rain is expected for us tomorrow morning. But to add to that, these cooler temperatures are really going to stick around for us. It is a dry night for us tonight, though, for those trick-or-treaters all throughout the Bay Area. So good news there. But once we wake up tomorrow morning, those roads are going to be very wet, heading off to school and even off into work. We can see some moderate pockets of rain slowly starting to push their way in just in those early morning hours from 9 a.m. even all the way into the afternoon. Scattered showers expected after that, but nonetheless, we're keeping a very close eye on the models here. It's a quick moving system, and it's going to leave our temperatures below average as we wrap up the week. Where it's really noticeable, of course, those microclimates off into the east and to the north. Upper 60s, lower 70s today it quickly is replaced with 10 degree cooler temperatures just by tomorrow, and that lingers into the rest of the week, too. 